you guys must have paid attention to the fact that whenever we compare halogen light output to LED light output, people generally prefer halogen. And why is that? Why LED light looks a bit sickly? It has a very unpleasantness to basically food, skin and colorful things. The primary reason for that is when you are utilizing incandescent effect as in heating a filament to YOLO temperatures as in like 2000 to 3000 degrees Celsius, you are utilizing what we classify as black body radiation. Benefit of this puppy is that it emits all of the spectrum spectrum's photons as in there is photon completion there full spectrum light output as in almost like sun benefit of that is the color quality matches uh, basically sun's output and since our eyes evolved on that it looks natural it is natural it's gg however if you compare that to white leds then you will realize there is no such thing as white led what we have is basically blue leds with phosphor coating uh, basically we take a lot of blue energy uh, downshift it into other spectrums and ta-da, that's how you get your uh, basically white LEDs. But it creates a signature sickly tone simply because there is a giant blue spike and then there is a dip and then you have phosphorus output. And that creates that sick, ugly looking feeling that people genuinely do not like. And you can easily tell between a quality LEDs and super cheap LEDs because generally they cut out uh, money on phosphorus and output is yuck. And um, so how do we solve this? Well, there are a lot of companies uh, taking different paths to solve this. For example, there are certain companies who are trying to use purple uh, emitters and then they are using phosphorus with different combination. Output is, it does not have that blue spike. It looks far more natural, far more pleasing. Then you have uh, basically where you are very serious about color. Uh, instead of having RGB, which again, it's not good enough to have that many gap in the color spectrum. They use more than that. Basically, they could have two, three or even seven total color lines and all of them are mixed with a proper computation engine and that's how you get your true white LEDs. Now at that point in time if you are mixing that many colors you will get a true representation as in even on a spectrum level. So at that point in time it is good enough to utilize and if you want to do this cheaply you can have like you know cool white phosphor is specifically designed to fill in that void and then you have a blue uh, that provides the most amount of light. So there are certain tricks that you can do in order to get quality lights but let that be very clear do not be shocked if you just use the cheapest LED and be like why the heck everything looks ugly.